kitten season is here. That may sound festive, but it's not. At least not for the Oxford Humane Society in Oxford, Mississippi. More kittens are born in the spring than at any other time of year. Tom Morley has seen a lot of kittens surrendered. There are particular bad days when, I uh, say, you, you might just be out in reception looking through and someone's bringing baskets of kittens. Um, and you don't know where you're going to put them, um, what you're going to do with them. It is a sad time because you're thinking, well, are these going to be put down in the next opportune moment we have because we don't have any place to put them. Um, and that's not how it should be. Last year at this time, 743 felines were surrendered either by owner or as strays to the Oxford Humane Society. 144 of those were adopted or transferred to rescue groups. Almost 600 were euthanized. In other words, about 8 out of every 10 felines brought in during kitten season are put down. That's 81 percent. Shelter Director Jen Peterman wants to change that statistic. It, it's heart-wrenching to see the numbers that come in as opposed to the number of people that come in to adopt. Probably 85 percent of the people that walk in the shelter doors are looking for a dog. We will never adopt our way out of the overpopulation that we have of felines you know in this area. We have to spay and neuter our way out of it. The Humane Society offers a low-cost spay-neuter program called SNAP. And recently, there was a free spay-neuter event that coincided with World Spay Day on February 24th. 444 animals were spayed or neutered over a period of seven days in Oxford. I believe the education has started to get out there enough that people understand they'll have a better pet in the end if they get that animal spayed and neutered and they won't be overpopulating um, their house, <laughs> the neighborhood, you know, the county with, with unwanted litters of kittens and puppies. The next free spay neuter event will be for cats on May 8th. Go online to OxfordPets.com for more information. This is Judy Beth Morris reporting for Newswatch.